Yeah, hello, this is uh, Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with uh, my patient, Richard, and we're going to put in his full contour zirconia screw retained crown. Uh, it is of the Strauman type, and right now I'm, I'm going to remove his, uh, thank you, thank you, remove his temporary. It is a screw retained. And some of the original uh, design that was done uh, from the uh, surgeon. We'll put that away. And as we uh, normally do, we do a routine suction of the internal aspect of the implant. And I'm going to go in and actually scrub that because I can actually see some debris down in there. I'm going to tip you back a little bit, Richard. Put you in focus. Okay. Okay, so some uh, normal dried blood that I'll see in there. Sometimes I that's in there during a surgical procedure. Um, checked it last time, so we'll scrub that. This is chlorhexidine gluconate. I'm going to scrub that thoroughly. Let's let it soak in there. And then we're going to take and leave that in there. We're going to take a micro brush next. And go ahead and take care of that. Now I'll just put a small micro brush right down in there. Agitate it a little bit so that you can clean out. Alright, and then we rinse that thoroughly. Right. That's perfect. And we just suction that out. I don't like to blow a lot of air in there. I just get it scrubbed, get it rinsed, and then suction with the micro suction tip. Yes. Oh, look at that. Nice. Keep those threads happy, keep them clean. Right, we got a nice prosthesis going in. All right, now back up our mag. Bring in our crown. And let's gently push this in place. hand tighten that as we hand tighten it Richard if you feel any pressure on any of the adjacent teeth just let me know I will use some thin floss this is floss from I believe that's like a glide floss so it's very very thin and we can just start checking now the um, contacts that's a mesial contact and the distal contact. Now it snaps without shredding, that's good news. And we'll hand tighten again. Soft tissue sometimes will spread a little bit. Let's see. There we go. So as I hand tighten, you'll feel a little pressure build up in the soft tissues. How are you doing, Richard? All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then we recheck the contacts. And now I'm feeling a little tightness there occur on the mesial and distal, but it doesn't shred the floss, so that's that's good. Um, if it did not floss, then we would have to lighten that uh, contact area. So I'm hand tightening again. I'm not bottoming out yet. S I'm getting a little bit of resistance from the soft tissue, which is normal. Um, 
we will not adjust bite until we torque it down, but we could check it. And not yet till we hand tighten it. Alright, hold that. Snap the floss through, still consistent. Uh, see now that's shredded a little bit on the distal. Uh, it might be a little too tight, so I haven't tightened it down all the way yet, the uh, mirror. So let's continue to hand tighten and see if that distal will lighten up. So and more than likely we have a tight contact on the distal aspect. So one of two things I can adjust you know a little bit right here on his crown or I can do it on the on the uh, implant. I may end up just doing a little bit on his tooth and that should slide in. Um, it does have a contact point um, which is nice. Area would be a little bit nicer so let's see if we can develop that. Now I'm hand tightening again. And now I know I can't get in there. So that is definitely too tight. So we'll adjust that. And uh, we could try to do a marking in the mouth. But I'm going to go back to the model work. And I'll do it on the model. So we're going to put his temporary back in while I'm working on it. Um, because he start popping it in and popping it out. He start creating an issue with uh, the soft tissue. I don't want any bleeding to occur, so I'm going to do it on his his model. So both contacts, I really feel like the distal contact is the one that's holding us up. So you can go ahead and put your finger here and I'll get that ready. Yeah, just lay it right over here. That right over here. I'll let your finger right here. Okay. So we're back here. Getting ready to put this back in. First thing I like to do is just double check the threads. Make sure we, we're not in reintroducing anything. You know, any, any bio burden. So it looks like our threads are good. We did put it in peroxide. Just regular peroxide. In a dish. Uh, some debris in there. So we'll take a uh, take a brush, dip it in peroxide and just scrub it. And be surprised what comes off of that. All right. Air dry it again. Alright, we're going to resubstitute this again and maybe we can come back with the finale. Let's just take a look of this. She's going to keep her finger there, but I'm just going to lift up his lip just to show you our contours um, for zirconia. So these are our, our buckle contours and uh, trying to stay consistent. Alright, and I'll pop that out. that aside. I'll put our provisional back in. And I'm not going to tighten this too much, just enough to hold that in place. 
off we go to the model work which is here and we'll put some paper in there we're going to be pulling through the uh, contact and so I'm going to slide this crown back on the model but I'm going to put some paper in there to see where it's where it's being hung up sometimes on model work we'll find the uh, that the stone may abrade a little bit from trying it on trying it off especially with an implant case so try to get a second model poured if you can uh, from your laboratory alright let's see if I get, it, get this hand tightened uh, hand tighten that all the way down should be able to pull that and get a mark. I like to use a fine diamond. And we're going to use it dry. There's our mark. slide that paper back in there and retighten that. Let's really tighten it by hand and then pull it through again. Pop it off again. change your magnification and go ahead and adjust it again that's zirconia I'm just going to lightly adjust that drop it back down on the model It's starting to feel better on the model itself, but again, another adjustment. This is the MK31 art already foil, uh, FOL type paper, and again, it's still pulling. Right. I'm going to try to get it a little more adjusted here. And then we'll go back in and try it in again. That's not so bad. All right, I need a straight attachment. Some porcelain polishing wheels. Nice, thank you. So basically, it's all ceramic and um, placed on a platform. Uh, polishing uh, wheels. Thank you. Polish this. All right, I'm 
back in the mouth. And we'll unscrew that. I just go through the same motions. And we'll suction that up again. There we go. Still feels a little tight going in. Let's see where we are with the floss. Also for floss. And it's still tearing, so we still got to make an adjustment here. So we'll be at it here, and then we're going to walk through the, the next steps, but I'll have to catch you on the next video for this. All right. Dr. Jerry Cuomo, see you next time. Let me get